Hi, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com, and in this video, as promised, I want to talk about a few things that you need to remember when you introduce uh, new aeration into an established pond, particularly an old pond. Now, this primarily goes for large bodies of water, not so much small ponds. Many pond owners that have small backyard water gardens will keep them pretty clean or have the ability to do so. But you know, large old farm ponds that have sort of been static for many years, have had a lot of debris going in them, may have some sludge and muck developed at the bottom and that kind of thing. And it's best that you don't stir disturb that uh, if you can help it. So first and foremost, when we get into introducing an aerator into a pond, we kind of like to go gradually anyway, in most cases, unless the pond is brand new. You want to start out very slowly, maybe 15, 20 minutes the first day of operation. Get the thing installed, run it for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then extend that time out. Maybe try to double it each, each day. Take your time and go slowly and work your way up over a period of weeks uh, till you're running 24-7. And uh, that way, if you find any discoloration in the water, any changes occurring, anything that looks out of place, uh, maybe a fish comes up dead or whatever, back off, just slow down, back down. Uh, there's a suspicion possibly when you see that that we're disturbing too much of this old buildup uh, some of it's going to happen anyway, but you want to minimize that. Now, particularly during really hot conditions, because a lot of times people will buy these aerators uh, after the fact. They'll see their fish suffering and they'll say, I got to get air in there. There's nothing wrong with that thought. It is the best thing probably to do, but it's a tough time to put air in and to sort of disturb the balance, if you will, when there's already a massive stress on the pond with the high heat. So what do you do to at least try to stabilize things? Well, we would still follow the protocol of a little bit more each day. We would start at 15 to 20 minutes the first day and build up slowly. But here's the trick. Put the diffuser or diffusers in the shallow parts of the pond. In other words, don't put it at depth to where it's going to aerate everything. Put it in a portion of the pond, a shallower position, and do the same startup routine that we talked about. I wouldn't suggest moving the diffuser to deep water until conditions have improved temperature-wise, and you're probably back down into some reasonable temps, you know, where your, your water temperature is in the mid-70s. Then you can begin to distribute the air a little more widely, but you simply don't want to disturb too much of that balance, and with the stress of high heat already on the fish and on the pond, you, you've got to be very careful how you introduce these things if you run into any problems back down on the running time of the aerator, of course, and just start shallow and work your way deep when you can do it later in the season. So hope you find that information helpful. Uh, if you have any other questions about your pond or about aerating your pond, be sure to contact us at pondalgiesolutions.com. We're happy to try to help. Have a good day there.